official session was held in the first temple of Jerusalem, which was a basement in the palace of King Herod Agrippia. The meeting of the mysterious force was always held in the temple. That was the name, the temple. And in 1717, modern Freemasonry changed it to the name of Lodge. To prove that Masonry is of Jewish origin, we'll hear the following quotes. The rabbi Isaac Weiss wrote in 1855, quote, Masonry is a Jewish institution whose history, degrees, assignments, signs, and explanations are of Jewish nature from beginning to end, end quote. The Jewish historian Bernard Lazare wrote, quote, It is evident that there are only Jews and Kabbalistic Jews in Masonry's origin, end quote. And finally, Theodore Herzl, the founder of Zionism in 1897 in Switzerland, said, quote, Masonic lodges are established all over the world to offer us help to achieve our independence. Those pigs and non-Jewish Masons will never understand the final objects of Masonry, end quote. So they're just useful idiots. That's it. That's exactly what's happening. Now, to find out what Jews believe in, then, we have to go to what they regard as their authority in religion. The Jewish Encyclopedia, Volume 12, we read, quote, For the majority of Jews, the Talmud is still the supreme authority in religion, end quote. So, the, and the Talmud is the written uh, word of the oral tradition of the Pharisees. The Universal Jewish Encyclopedia, page 637, says, quote, The ultimate authority for orthodoxy is the Babylonian Talmud, end quote. And the Jews have embraced the Talmud for 20 centuries. Uh, now, some of the things that are in the Talmud, we're going to repeat just a few of them. I'm not saying all Jews know what's in the Talmud, or all Jews support what's in the Talmud, what I'm about to state. But nevertheless, it's there, and we have to repeat what's in exposed. What's, what's in the Talmud. In the Talmud, the, the Catholic Holy Day is called the Day of Evil. Christian Church is called a House of Evil.